Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing my Tatiana All Stars Drag Race makeup tutorial. This is my third one. So I'm going strong with these looks, I'm still going guys! <laughs> so this was Tatiana's first runway look on All Stars Drag Race Season 2. Her talent for that talent show, mm -mm, it was so good. It was so good. It was everything that I wanted from Tatiana from the first episode. It just gave me so much life. That spoken word peace was sickening. It was sickening, like, let's just not lie to ourselves, like, let's just be honest. She killed it. She killed it. So yeah, I got my piece down there. And keep liking, keep subscribing, because honestly, it means a lot to me. Because if you subscribe and if you like and if you comment, and if you share my videos with your friends, everything like that, it helps my videos reach out to more people, and I want more people to know what my channel as well. I would really appreciate it if you could give the video some love. That's it you guys, let's punch right into this look. So guys, the first thing that I'm going to do is use my Pritt stick to cover up my eyebrows. I feel like mm, this camera is way too close to my face right now, I cannot deal with it. Girl, that looks absolutely horrendous. I'm just gonna do my base and then I'm gonna come back. I'm actually gonna be using a PS Super Matte Liquid Lipstick called Candle. Pop that onto the brows. I'm gonna mix that in with a brow pomade in black. I'm just gonna use my Freedom Dip Brow Pomade in granite a little bit and mix that in with liquid lipstick. See, the liquid lipstick that I'm using has a little bit of a grey tone, it's got a little bit of a plum tone. I just want to get the right shade for the eyebrows, and I think I got that. I'm starting right here, above where my natural eyebrow starts. And Miss Tatiana goes for a fish brow, 100%. So it doesn't go too arched, like a lot of queens, it just goes sort of more rounded. And tails down like that. And she draws it quite thick, it's not too skinny at all. Once you've got like sort of the main shape basically, what you can do is start filling it in. And you want to start filling it in from the outer part of the eyebrow. You don't want to start in the inner because then it will look too harsh and then it will look horrendous. So you want to start filling in from the outer corner. Once I filled in the eyebrow, I'm just going to clean up under the brow bone. So for my eyeshadows, I'm just going to be using my I Love Makeup Makeup Revolution Salted Caramel Palette. I'm going to be using Delicious right here, which is a light colour. I'm just going to apply that onto the brow bone, and I'm just patting, just because, yeah? Where we've covered the eyebrow, we don't want to disturb that, so patting motions on that area would be best, to be honest. And I also have heard from a few queens that Tatiana uses MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to cover her eyebrows rather than a Pritt stick, a glue stick, or Prosade. She uses a bloody Max Off Toka paint pot. That's bloody expensive, man, but if it works for her, it works for her. And I've seen her do it backstage on the show, and honestly, it looks amazing. Like, she does it really well. She covers her eyebrows really well. I don't know how she found this method out, but honestly, it looks amazing. Like, her brows look good. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be using Sweet, which is this warm brown color. And it's kind of like, a little bit orangey as well in tone and I'm just popping that to the crease because we've got the eyebrows you know we've got a little bit more room to create a new crease so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna kind of transition that onto the brow bone a little bit onto the new brow bone this 
tutorial can so pass off as a, what is it, a fish drag tutorial, you know? Just because Tatiana was original fish. She's one of the fishiest ones this season as well. Let's be honest with that. I'll just be honest. I'm gonna be using a dark brown from the palette and etch out a rough shape of how I want the crease to look. Tati's crease is very rounded, as I saw from a bunch of stills from the first episode. So for the crease, I'm gonna be using Drizzle right here, which is a just a deep brown. And I'm using actually a shader brush for this to really add a lot of dimension. When I apply my dark colours, yeah, my makeup, I really like a lot of dimension. I like a lot of depth and dimension, especially because we're like creating a fake crease sort of thing. We want that to be a lot of definition. To be honest, I feel like the camera is very close to my face. So I feel like even though I covered my eyebrows, I feel like it's still quite clockable. Very, very critical, especially when it comes to like the brow cover up. I'm very critical, especially to myself, like, mm, girl, like, you didn't cover your eyebrow right, like, you know? I always see something that I can improve on, but sometimes when you've covered a brow up and it's done and it's set, you can't really do much about it because then you'll have to take it off if you make a mistake, if you haven't covered it enough, which is a little bit sad. And you want to blend really well. Because Tatiana's blending is impeccable. Her beat is always really good, really well done. I'm gonna take more of my OCC Skin Conceal and cut the lid so that it creates a cut crease shape. And also it's gonna be a base for the eyeshadows, to be honest. When I found out that Tatiana was gonna be on the show, I was so glad because before All Stars 2, I was creating a list of the people that I wanted from each season, and Tatiana was one of them. So was Ongjina. I'm very, very upset that the producers didn't show... You know, that the producers didn't show a queen from each season. I felt like... Season 3 was such a good season with so many amazing talented queens that I'm like Okay, so so where are all the season 3 queens at? There were so many from other seasons that I felt like should have been on the show But obviously, you know, they had to fill up a slot of 10 and those were the 10 that were chosen So what can we do about it? I mean I just wanted on Gina there, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going to be using Heavenly, which is this pink tone, because I think Tatiana had a pink tone on her inner lid. And I'm just patting that on to the inner corner. A very light pink tone. See that? I'm mixing in Perfect, which is this grey brown with Delicious, and apply that to the outer corner for a grey-ish taupe colour. For my liquid eyeliner, I'm going to be using my MUA Matte Black Eyeliner and Fez, this does crumble. So just try to, you know, not use too much of this when you use it because it would just kind of crumble off if you use too much. For the liner, yeah, Tatiana is very fish with it, 100%. It's very, very thin, not overly dramatic at all. And I'm applying a little bit on the lower as well, just halfway. I'm gonna clean up my wing a little bit, just because the applicator, right, the applicator is a little bit harder to use, so I'm using a bit of my concealer to sharpen up my wing because I do love my way to be really sharp. So I'm gonna use a little bit of drizzle onto the lower lash line before I put on the black, just because if you put a brown on before you blend in a black, it just helps in blending. And then the black shade in this palette is called Tempt. I'm adding a little bit of that onto the lower lash line 
just to smudge that liner that we popped there earlier. Sanded just a little bit of mascara just to take off all like the makeup -y bits that got stuck on your lashes. So I'm using my Volumizer from Bourjois. I'm just going to pop these lashes on. They are mink lashes. They're very long and fluffy. So I'm just going to apply a lot of loose powder on my highlighted areas. So I'm going to apply that under the eyes. I'm also going to apply that under the cheekbone as well. So to contour and bronze, I'm going to be using my PS Contour Kit, and this is the darker version. I'm going to be using this and shade to bronze, and then this grey shade to contour. So I'm using a bigger brush first to bronze. And then I'm using a tinier brush. This is the Complexion C185 from Royal and Magnicol, and I'm going to... Just follow my natural cheek, to be honest, because that's what Tati do. Making it very, very blended. I know I'm baking right now to like intensify the highlights and the contours, but honestly, Tati's contours are very, very soft. They are not harsh whatsoever. For the nose contour, it's gonna be the same aspect. It's gonna be quite soft. Gonna blend off the bake. Tatiana's blush was very pink. I am just using Makeup Geek all the time for my makeup tutorials for blushes, but the blush I'm gonna be using is XOXO. It's so bright, look at that. The girl likes to go heavy with a blush, and at least in this episode, you know, she's very blush heavy. Okay, so for the lips, you want to use a brown lip liner. I'm gonna go straight ahead with the lipstick, and I'm gonna be using the PS Super Matte Liquid Lipstick in Carla number five, so it's a brown tone. And you definitely wanna overdraw your lips a good few millimetres, you know? After I applied the Carla, I am going to go ahead with the Morphe colour that I used before for the eyebrows actually, and this is in Candle. Ooh, yes! Uh, this is a nice lip combo. So guys, this is the final look, and I love Tatiana. I actually loved her from her season to this day. I don't know, she was underdog in her season and she did really, really well. And I have a lot of faith in Tatiana for her future outside of All Stars, everything like that. I feel like All Stars was such a fresh start for Tatiana, and I'm so, so happy for her. And um, let me know who you want me to do next week for All Stars Drag Race because <laughs> you know I want to do this like every week basically for you guys and I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video bye guys